can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you all right guys so uh welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video my viewer brother are about to start day two of rapping the 535 so um miss oshino there i don't know if you guys can see her she's just chilling looking really good that front end looks absolutely insane i actually ordered new emblems so i could pretty much kind of get that whole new look from the outside i think it's gonna look super clean but anyway let's go ahead and get the car in here and uh let you guys know what we're actually planning for today's video hopefully we have a lot planned so hopefully we can get it all done but uh it's a lot planned all right guys, here's the car inside the garage with the white halos and the blue. It looks so good. This side came out pretty well. All of that's dirt. That's actually just dirt, guys. I actually can get cleaned out. This side seal sealed up actually really well. No peeling. This happens on every single bumper unless you literally take off the bumper and you know, you know, we had to do it on the car. So when tucking, it didn't come out perfect. Other than that, uh, this side came out really good. This side started up peeling. Uh, we had a lot of issues on this side, so we're gonna have to overlap. Not too crazy. I know a lot of people think that rapid cars need to be perfect. Perfect. It really doesn't. As long as it looks pretty good, it doesn't need to be perfect. It'll look perfect for photos, and it, sh it should look really good in person, but it no by no means is a wrap drop ever supposed to be perfect. Like, my 435, got it done at a shop. It's not perfect, but it's amazing. Way better than my work, honestly, but even if you guys get a fresh new paint job, it's still not perfect. The only perfect paint job you can ever get is from BMW themselves, from the manufacturer. So, I'm just putting it out there, or you have, like, 20 grand to spare. Just putting it out there for all you critiques that are about to critique my, uh, my work. I am not a professional by no means but I am really happy with this work the fender came out absolutely perfect no peeling nothing and the hood came out perfect no peeling no nothing it's just the bumper bumpers are hard I realized also we're missing a piece there so we have to put a piece in there so yeah the bumper is not perfect the things down there we're actually gonna add a lip and actually I think we should do the lip right now to be honest yeah yeah I think we should do the lip so we're gonna go and throw on the lip and at least transform the front end the, uh, the, the logo is coming in guys so don't worry the logo is coming in let's just go ahead and throw on the lip uh, this lip is from keys motorsport all right guys so what I like about this lip it's actually a three-piece lip you basically mount both of those and then you mount this lip up towards it and that didn't come with any hardware so we're gonna have to pretty much square in our old hardware but let's go ahead and i guess see the fitment are you ready for this all right i'm pretty stoked i mean this is gonna make the front end really come together so uh i think we should just go ahead and do it right now all right guys so uh we just took off the driver's door handle. It was actually super easy so um this car is probably the easiest car to ever remove a door handle so i'm sure that's how you do it real quick so any door every single door is the same on this car so we're gonna just open it all right we're going to just pop this sucker open once we're in here there's a little grommet piece right there we're going to just take that off pretty easy and you pretty much just insert this directly oh dear that was barely able to fit it's like this literally it's a t15 i'm unscrewing it directly straight across as you guys can see just loosen it don't even take out the screw so um i think it's about loosened it's getting kind of hard so i'm assuming it's loosened Door handle just comes right on out. You can go ahead and just even close the door if you want. And then uh, use any picking tool, sensor comes out. It's honestly the easiest door handles to ever remove. I'm so happy about that. It's gonna make our lives a whole lot easier. Um, and you're gonna wanna remove the gaskets as well. Uh, should be pretty easy, to be honest. Guys, I cannot believe honestly how easy that was. I swear to God, it took me about five to 10 minutes to remove all four door handles. T15 all the way around, super easy to get to. I used a basic tool from Harbor Freight, nothing special, and it wasn't angled, nothing weird like that. With every other car, it's angled. This car is so easy to remove the door handles, and it's gonna allow us to pretty much tuck in the wrap underneath in here. Here, we're just gonna do some precision cutting because to remove this is an absolute pain, so we're not gonna do that. But for the most part, uh, we got off what we needed, which is perfect. What's cool about these cars also, all this trim right here, you don't have to tuck underneath it because all this trim is with the door. So pretty much we're gonna be wrapping the quarter panel all the way around and then uh, we just wrap the door, bottom half, which is a lot nicer. Like this trim pieces, you don't even have to remove them, especially the top piece, you don't have to tuck it or remove the molding or anything like that. I really like, this car is literally super easy to wrap, so that's super nice. Last but not least, is the gas cap i'm pretty sure it's one like every other gas cap you just pull hard and it should come out um so i'm gonna have my brother just hold the camera and i'm gonna go ahead and just try to force this thing out real quick all right guys so normally you just pull towards you so let's see if that works oh okay there's one tab right here as you guys can see and i think you just pull right on out so let me go ahead and just get a tab real quick i mean a flathead but same stuff go ahead and just put that underneath there pull oh super easy so for all you guys who wrap over it because you know when you close it now Look how easy that is to so basically just put the wrap above it, tuck around all of this, and then just wrap this off of the car. So much easier. These are just a few tips that I'm gonna be giving you guys because we didn't do that on our first car, and then basically what I did was is that I cut right on here all around, and then I opened it, 
and then I pretty much tucked it all the way around. And doing that, I scratched my whole lid, so it's just not smart. And then I had to open it, and then I was trying to wrap it. It was really hard to get around and try to get to the back here. So, um, yeah. Are you ready to get some knives and some stuff? We gotta get some new tools. We have to get new blades, and we need some 3M for that front lip. We need actual 3M. So, uh, I have some eBay stuff. We're not gonna be using that. We're gonna be using actual 3M. So, it's gonna cost us probably about, it's $30 run, $40 run maybe to get all the stuff that we need, but it's gonna be worth it. Let's go get it. All right, boys, let's head out. The other, the other, hurry up, get the parts, get the parts. Alright guys, so uh, car is officially locked and uh, we are heading into Home Depot. All right, guys, I want to kind of try something else to see if we can save money because 3M Extreme, it's like clear. Hmm, I just don't know about clear. Have you ever used clear before? I don't know. This looks, how much is it? Why is that cost more than the clear? I feel like clear would be more in demand, right? Well, this is 15 pounds. This is oh, yeah. okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the 15 pound, guys. Like, honest to God. I love unboxing things. It's like one of my favorite things to do, honestly. When I was younger, I remember I used to just, um, I, used, I used to try to make unboxing videos. That's how much I loved it. But uh, here's blade number two. Where's blade number one? Here is blade number one. So now we got two Milwaukee knives just to make the jobs a little bit easier. These, honestly, uh, they just feel nice. I like them. It's only $8. I mean, it's not that bad. And it comes with a blade. Like this one comes with a brand new blade. So we're good for at least the whole day. Um, and then I, we, we went ahead and got 50 more blades. So. We're set. Damn! Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yo, get that get that Milwaukee cinematic though. Alright guys, first things first, we got the 3M. It's going to mount the carbon fiber lip. And that's gonna get rid of all that little ugly stuff down there. Pretty much perfect the front of the car. I think it's gonna be sick, right? Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. All right, guys, so we just got the lip on there. All righty, so uh, we went ahead and installed these suckers, and then this guy we put a screw right there, which actually allows you to mount it straight to the bumper from the middle, so you have no play. As you guys can see, no play. Basically, we drilled one in there, we drilled one from this carbon to that carbon. I, you, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I like doing that because it just basically keeps the carbon together, um, and there's no play whatsoever. We drilled one into the side of the bumper right here, and there's actually a two tabs in the back. I drilled into those ones. Um, you can do it any way you want. I think the more screws, the merrier. But yeah, guys, check that out. That is really coming together. So the front end, woo! Oh my God, this is looking super good. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and uh, start working on the car. You ready to help me wrap the car, Habibi? Habibi, dia, Habibi, dia, Habibi, dia. Thank you, Habibi. So uh, <laughs> he's gonna help me wrap this entire side. So we're gonna do the quarter panel, both doors. Let's knock those out. Hope to God it's not gonna be the, the, the hardest thing in the world. Me and my brother pretty much just for me. Oh, we have to actually have to move these guys as well. So, bam, bada bing, just to clean off a little bit right there. But other than that, guys, uh, bam. I mean, so we have the tail lights out. We are pretty much ready to be wrapping the quarter panels. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time to get to this entire side. It is already 5 p.m. We killed so much time trying to get everything, trying to get that lip on the car. And we ran a few errands this morning, dropping off some cash and dropping off some packages. So anyhow, uh, instead of talking, let's just get straight. Let's try to get as much work done as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and clay bar this entire quarter panel, these two doors, even the side sphere extension. We're gonna try to knock this all out. So let's get it, all right? Guys, so uh, now that we pretty much have prepped this thing completely, we removed this top portion right here and removed the tail lights. The doors, uh, we just already pretty much prepped them. We didn't clean them, but removed the door handles. Uh, but we are officially ready to get this quarter panel wrapped. You ready?
All right, guys, this coral panel is completely complete, buttery smooth, absolutely gorgeous, no dirt spots or anything, so I'm super happy about that. Like, I mean, guys, just look at that. Doesn't that look like paint? That is gorgeous. Anywho, uh, going on to the top, I finished up this portion as well. I'm gonna help my brother finish up this portion. Um, he actually helped me out with all the bottom part, but he's moving on over here, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and help him out with this stuff. All right, guys, so we already knocked this out. It looks amazing. I mean, it is buttery smooth all the way around. We even popped in this piece right here. We finished up all of this, the edges. Uh, edge could have been a little bit better, but you know, for me, honestly, as long as the wrap looks good and it's sticking, I'm perfectly happy with it. So yeah, this is a lot better. I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and just go over that a little bit more because that will be perfect if I can perfect it. The car is super dirty, guys. So obviously when you're working on wrap and you're tucking in places, your hand gets dirty too. So this car obviously needs a wash, but I cannot wait to also delete the chrome. The chrome has to go. I'll probably figure out a way to take off this mirror and then black out all the chrome. It's, it just has to go to match. I basically wanna wrap it like this, this chrome right here. It looks so good in black. So we're probably gonna do that. This mirror, um, we're gonna get carbon fiber ones, but for the meantime, we might actually just wrap it in black because uh, I don't know when I'm gonna order those, to be honest, because uh, I have a lot of other ideas I wanna do for this car before I order those, so um, that's that. Also, we're gonna wrap that guy down there, so I think we're gonna try to knock out this whole side. Wish us luck, hopefully we have the energy to do it, so let's just try to do that. It is honestly very time consuming to wrap a car, but uh, it is really satisfying to look at it like, I just can't wait to fill in most of that so you guys can kind of get the full image. And then obviously the booty and everything, we're gonna try to do that as well. We, we had to go out for a lot of errands to get a lot of things for this car, so it killed a couple hours of our day. So hopefully, um, there's only gonna be a third part to this video, and then the third part should be the full complete wrap of the car. So um, yeah, let's just try to knock out this entire side though, because I think we can do it. All right, guys, this is how she's looking right now with one of the doors complete. This looks so freaking good. So uh, that came out really good. Yeah, I got a little bit of a flaw right there, but the door handle's gonna cover wrap, so I don't even care. That looks absolutely freaking stunning. If you guys check it out from the front end with the carbon fiber look. Guys, this lip is beautiful. I can't get over looking at it. This is from Keys Motorsports, link down below. I also have a 5% off discount code. Make sure you use NOR5. You guys will get 5% off anything carbon fiber for your guys' cars. Um, but yeah, check that out. It looks freaking insane oh my god can't wait to just have a lot of black accents the chrome has got to go i will be deleting that really soon uh this mirror probably gonna end up wrapping in black until get some carbon door handles i'm actually considering black i know a lot of you guys like blue but with every car I've ever wrapped the car I've always made the door handles black i love how it just max it just matches with the other blacks around the car including the side mirrors um so that's just me you guys let me know down below probably in the next video i'll get to all the door handles so let's just go ahead and knock out that side skirt so we can see that beautiful beautiful curve that this side skirt has the m sport side skirt and then i uh, probably even try to knock out this door maybe even the other side quarter panel because mine as well we'll see we do, we're on a roll today so let's go ahead and get it pretty much turn up the ISO. I'm pretty sure that's what's it called. So I had to turn up the ISO. It is super dark outside, but my camera is making it look super light. And uh, yeah, you guys can probably see it better on camera than I can actually see it in person. Yeah, so the quarter panel, gas cap, everything, all the edges, all that good stuff is done. We're just gonna go ahead and throw on this piece again. And then uh, we're gonna try to knock out that door real quick. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and throw on this piece and um, we can start working on this passenger door. guys me and my brother knocked out so much of the car today both quarter panels both front doors 
We were gonna do the side skirts today, but it is super late. Like, we're honestly, we need to call it a day, guys. I will actually work on this tomorrow. If you guys can get this video to 1,500 likes, I will actually double upload, which means tomorrow, instead of every other day, I will basically get the, the pretty much the final product of the car tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see the car completely wrapped up, at least all the blue, completely on the car, and a cinematic, and all that good stuff, 1,500 likes, guys, and I will upload tomorrow for you guys. So don't forget to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, if you also wanna cop some limited edition decals to get a little piece of the F10 535, make sure to check out that link down below. Without further ado, guys, uh, actually, let's not end the video. We gotta clean up. All right, guys, and uh, as you guys saw, we cleaned up. I'm here with Ocean. Woo! That is one good looking car. I never thought I actually really liked the 5 Series, but this thing's looking freaking good. Honestly, like, check it out. I am super stoked. Again, guys, huge shout out to Keys. I can't shout them out enough for this. This carbon fiber lip is absolutely beautiful. Amazing fitment. So if you guys want to cop that, link down below. Use my code. And if you guys want to get a, a limited edition decal, make sure you check out that link down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. 1,500 likes, guys. Don't forget, 1,500 likes. And I will upload tomorrow the finished product of the entire car. All gonna be in blue. All right, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.